Hi, how's everybody doing today? Well, today I have for you a video of me doing a comparison of my three DJI drones. I have my first drone, Phantom 4 Pro Plus. My second drone, Mavic Air version 1. And the one I very recently got, my newest, the Air 2S. I'm going to do a sound comparison in the air and just uh, talk about some of the things I like and don't like about each drone. So my first drone, the Phantom. This thing is kind of like the equivalent of driving a big high-power Mercedes. It's got lots of features, lots of power, flies really smooth, has great pictures, great video. The only real problem I have with it is the size. It's just kind of a pain to drag it in the big bag through the airport. So after taking it to Hawaii a couple times, I decided I'll get something small, the Mavic Air. And this is a great little drone. You can see it is tiny compared to the Phantom. Smaller, shorter than one of the Phantom propellers. This drone takes pretty good videos and pictures. The main quirk it has is the compass needs to be calibrated nearly every time you fly it. It's kind of a pain. Another one is, right after you take off sometimes, it'll go about 30, 40 feet up and it'll just cock 30 degrees to the left for some reason and just recenter itself automatically. I don't, it just has a weird compass in it. And also the gimbal doesn't have a large range of motion. Large winds, this thing will be tipped at an angle and the gimbal will not be able to compensate and your whole picture could be shifted at an angle. And in sport mode, it doesn't go up high enough. So the whole picture will be angled downward in sport mode. But other than that, it's a pretty great little drone. Very nice and small, even smaller than the new Air 2S by a bit. The Air 2S does have much more gimbal movement and has none of those compass problems. Okay, you can see here now with the Air drones unfolded that the Air 2S is actually quite a bit bigger than the original Air unfolded. I mean, it's... It definitely, definitely expands out quite a bit, but fold it down, it is about the same length and width as the original Air. It's just a lot thicker, up and down. But the Air is such a great drone, the Air 2S. It just has amazing pictures and video quality. It does a 5.4K video. Um, just the, the way it flies is just great. It's almost as good as the Phantom. But for the Phantom, I do prefer the uh, large full-size RC remote as I'm coming from, um, you know, full-size hobby grade, you know, transmitters, you know, for aircraft and drones and FPV drones. And the, the air also has the AB. It'll actually tell you when a manned aircraft is in the area, which is kind of cool, and it'll show you on the map. And that is a neat feature also, and it also is the only one with upward vision sensors, which could be helpful to some. And also, the flight time on the Air 2S, I'm getting about close to 30 minutes. Usually don't even fly the whole time, but on the original Air, I was lucky to get 15. And I'd usually run that battery all the way down, but it's a good thing I did have four of the batteries. Phantom, i probably get a good 30 minutes out of that, I think. Okay, I got the drones all booted up here. I'll do a uh, quick test using the uh, sound meter on my uh, Android device here. See uh, which one's loudest. I'll start with the Air one. Pretty loud. Sounds like 
big thing of bees, but she is stable. Handles are really good for a little guy, that's for sure. So five feet away, we're looking at mm, about 75 decibels. Like on average, next up is the Air 2S. Yeah, you can tell it's quieter already, and it is. Looking at about 70, 75. I'm not sure how good this decibel meter is, but it is noticeably a lot quieter, a lot lower uh, tone than the air one. And I know for a fact you can't hear it nearly as far. Okay, next up is the daddy. Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Still love this drone. It's just a pain in the butt to take with you. Pretty quiet at idle. upper 70s to 80s for this one it probably is about as loud as the Mavic here this has the the generation one louder props on it also but the, the tone is lower than the air but it is fairly loud okay all three going on once probably hear the most noise from the Phantom Yeah, it seems that the Phantom 4, definitely the loudest. Navigare original is pretty loud and really annoying and high pitched. Air 2S, pretty good and quiet. So, if I could only keep one, or first, if I had to get rid of one, which one would I get rid of? Well, I'm getting rid of this one. I actually already sold it on eBay. Uh, I like this little drone, but. This one is uh, pretty much completely taken its place and is better in just about every way. Definitely I'm not getting rid of the Phantom. I definitely love it for the built-in screen, large gimbals, just the size and stability and power of it. And it's got a lot of neat flight features that the uh, Air 2S doesn't have, especially because it gives the fly app, whereas the Phantom uses Go 4. Like it doesn't have the uh, tap fly, and the there, there's a bunch of little things that aren't included in it. I can't think of them all right now that aren't included in the DJI fly app yet that the Phantom has. 
But the Air 2 does, does have some options, like the quick shots, that the Phantom doesn't have. So, and the Air 2S actually seems to have a little better range than the Phantom, not by much. But the OcuSync 3 does do a little bit better than Lightbridge 2 on the Phantom. Alright, there you have it. Um, my recommendation, if you're interested in any one of these three, would be the Air 2S. Just everything about it is pretty darn good. It's very easy to take care of you. Great flight times, great pictures. Um, easy to fly, easy to set up. Alright, thanks for watching.